Hi, my name is Michael Burton with MichaelBurtonFilms.org, located in Salt Lake City, Utah. And we're here talking about how to use Microsoft Windows. Now I want to teach you how to create a new folder in Microsoft Windows. This is probably one of the most easiest tasks to do, and I'm going to show you a couple different ways to, to achieve this. Let me start out by saying that Windows XP is a registered trademark of Microsoft, and I am in no way affiliated with Microsoft. Probably right off the bat, one of the easiest ways to create a new folder especially if you want one on your desktop, is just to right click on your mouse and scroll down to new. This is your new drop down menu. You can create a lot of, you can either create new shortcuts or you can create new folders, new briefcase, new documents, new whatever you want. Here's your, you know, your drop down list. All we want to deal, all we want to deal with right now is creating a new folder. So we're just going to select new folder. Bam. There's our new folder right there. We can title it whatever we want. Let's title it our, oops, our wonderful new folder there's a wonderful new folder that we can place anywhere on the desktop we can even open it and see that there's nothing in there we can uh, for example take this file HD opener that I have on the desktop and drag it over and drop it into our new our wonderful new folder and there you have it uh, we have a, a brand new new folder uh, another way to do this let's let's create a wonderful new folder part 2 by let's go down to the start menu we open the start menu. Let's say we want to create a folder within a folder. Let's try the My Documents folder. Here are our, well, My Documents. Uh, you can see that there are already some folders in here. Uh, if you notice up here on the left, there's some text over here. Share this folder, publish this folder to the web, and make a new folder. That will make a new folder, not on the desktop, but make a new folder right here in our My Documents folder. And then we can label this whatever we want. Let's try our wonderful new folder part two. So there's our wonderful new folder part two. And again, we can double click on it, open it up, see that there's nothing in there. We can put whatever we want in there. There's our wonderful new folder part two. The other method to do this on, under the My Documents folder is not to just come up here and click on the tab Make a New Folder, but we can also right click on the My Documents folder and do the same thing we did on the desktop where we scroll down to New and then click folder and again it'll create a new folder for us that we can put as many documents in as we would like. 